What's up guys, it's Mizuna and I'm doing something a little bit different for you today. I've been getting a lot of questions from people about how I set up my green screen. Um, so I figured I'd upload a little bit of a vlog on how to set up a green screen on a budget. This whole project cost me less than $50, probably more like $35. Um, so it is really cheap, it is very doable. Um, this is something... This is a mistake a lot of people make in their minds, thinking that, you know, oh, these, all of these professional, like, quality things that YouTubers do cost a bunch of money and you can't get into it. It's not true. This costs, like I said, around $35. So, let's get into it, right? How did I set up my green screen on a budget? Three things you're going to need. One, the green screen itself. In my case, a flat sheet from a bed sheet set at Walmart in this bright, bright, vibrant blue color. Less than $10, around $9.25, I think, after tax for that guy. Um, and we use the rest of the sheet set elsewhere in the house, so it works. Two, after you have the green screen, you need lighting. Lighting is very important, probably the most important step of this entire process. I use a couple of desk lamps on either side of me with daylight bulbs. Let's turn those off and you can see just how big of a difference these guys make. Pretty crappy, right? So, with the daylight bulbs, I'm bright, I'm clean, I'm beautiful. They don't cast a shade because they are daylight color temperature. So, when shopping for these guys, these bulbs, you want very bright bulbs, first off. So, these are 800 lumen bulbs apiece. Um, and you want a color temperature of 5,500K. That is a daylight color temperature bulb. Lower than that, around 3,000, gives a little bit of a yellow tinge, and you can mess with it in the software settings, but it's just easier if you go with the daylight bulbs. So, that's it. Those desk lamps cost me about 7 bucks a piece. The bulbs cost three fifty a piece. So there you go. That gives us $7, $14, $21, $9. That's about 30 bucks in all. That's all I spent on my green screen. Here's where the magic happens. We, I use OBS to record all my videos. A lot of people do. OBS is an excellent free program that you can download. Um, I'll put a link in the description of where to download this program. It's great. It's powerful. It takes a little getting used to, but once you do, it's amazing. Um, so I'm going to switch to my screen scene here. You can see this is where all the scenes on OBS are. If you guys are interested in a little bit of a technical... Uh, commentary on OBS and an introduction to it. I'm more than happy to do that video. Just let me know in the comments. Um, and here are your sources. The source we are interested in today is the face cam source. So I have made this source and named it face cam. Uh, you can see that here. And I use a Logitech HD webcam uh, C615. Not an expensive web camera. I picked mine up for $7 at a Goodwill. So not a huge investment there and you'll need to configure the video uh, and mess around with the exposure and everything like that a little bit probably at first to get it right dependent on the lighting that you chose and the distance between you and the wall there are a lot of factors going on there but that stuff you can just play around with the sliders um, and tweak to get a good result so now here's where the magic happens right click on your face cam source go down to filters and we are using the chroma key right down here, bottom one, chroma key effect that OBS offers. So you can see I did that and immediately my headphones disappear. This is because it defaults to green because most people use a green green screen. In my case, my headset's green and I like my headset. I don't want it to be invisible when I record. So I picked up a blue one. So what we're going to be doing is turn off this chroma key basically by turning similarity, smoothness, and key color spill reduction all the way down. Then we're going to scroll down here, hit custom, and you can see that now we can hit select color, pick screen color. So when picking your screen color of your green screen, you're going to want to not pick a shadow, but not pick the brightest part either. Somewhere in between is what you want. So we're going to pick probably around there will be good. Now you have your color select selected. You can see it's starting to, uh, even with similarity at one, it's already picking up some of it and removing it. Now we play with the sliders. 
basically you want to move the similarity up high enough that it gets rid of all of the green screen, in this case the blue, um, but that it doesn't get rid of you. So there you go, that's what we did. We can also move the key color spill reduction up a little bit so that I don't have that blue border around me, looks a little bit more professional. And if you move smoothness up a little bit and move the similarity down, it also removes some of the flickering around the edges of where it removed the green screen. So that's it for the chroma key portion. Super easy to set up, not complicated. Uh, you just have to learn where all the settings are. And you can see no flickering, no blue behind me. You can see the screen. You can see my desktop now uh, behind me. And it was really easy to set up. Now, for a bit of a professional edge, here's a little bit of a bonus for you guys. Go back into filters, color correction. When using daylight bulbs, especially very bright ones, it tends to bleach whatever it shines on. Especially if you're a white guy like myself, you'll end up with a very red face effect. This is not what I look like in real life. I'm, I look a little bit healthier than this, to be perfectly honest. So what we're going to do is we're going to color correct for my actual real life skin tone. I happen to know that the hex value of my skin tone is FFCD94. That is the hex value of me, my skin tone. So you can see already huge difference. Then you want to play with the contrast, brightness, and gamma to give it a real life look. I know these values because I've been playing with this for quite a while. Contrast up to 9, brightness down to negative 0 .03, 0 0.09 on the contrast, negative 0 0.03 on the brightness, and gamma all the way up to 0 0.20. And that's the settings that I run. Your mileage may vary dependent on your skin tone and the lighting that you went with. Um, if you have an identical setup to mine and you look just like me, then this will work for you. I know because I use it all the time. And there you go. That's how I set up my green screen. It is very professional looking, cost 35 probably maybe $40 in all if you include the web camera. OBS is free, easy to use, super powerful. I'll link that in the description. Um, that's it. That's all she wrote. That's all I have to say about this. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something from this video. I hope it answers some of your questions about how I do my green screening. Um, yeah, leave a like and a comment down below if you found this video helpful at all. That really helps me out. Uh, any questions you have about OBS in general, uh, YouTube in general, like what I use to render, record, whatever, any of that, I love those questions. I love to help you guys out, so leave that in the comment section as well. Subscribe for more content, uh, League content primarily at the moment, but we're getting into other games and also more technical content like this might be coming in the future, depending on what you guys want. I hope I see you next time. As always, this is Mizuna, signing off.